O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel. Bishop John here. This is the second part of a weekly Advent series where we walk together through four reflections on our Sunday readings in Advent, utilizing some famous works of art and tying them into our Sunday scripture. I hope these brief moments with art and scripture will help you to make the most of this Advent season leading up to Christmas. In the second Sunday of Advent, we are invited to reflect on John the Baptist, the forerunner to Christ Jesus, the Messiah. In the Gospel this Sunday, we read, John was clothed in camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist. He fed on locusts and wild honey. And this is what he proclaimed. One mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. Later, John the Baptist will say of Jesus, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. John pointed to Christ, who came to us, spoke with us, walked with us, died with us, healed us. As people of God, we point to Christ who comes to us in word and sacrament, especially in the Eucharist, when the priest holds up the sacred host and says, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. As people of God, we are called to be like John the Baptist and point to the Lord who has come, who is with us at Mass, and will come again in glory. This is our Advent hope and is our Advent proclamation. As we examine this wonderful 18th century altarpiece by the famous Mexican artist Miguel Cabrera, found in the Museo Nacional de Arte de Mexico, we see four figures, Our Lady of Guadalupe, and below on our right, San Juan Diego and Bishop Juan de Zamoraga on the left, with John the Baptist in the middle. Bishop Zumaraga appears to be in a state of perpetual veneration as he gazes upon the famous image of Our Lady of Guadalupe who first appeared to him on Juan Diego's tilma or mantle. Juan Diego, interestingly, is no longer reflecting on the Virgin of Guadalupe but interested in John the Baptist who seems to be pointing downward. What is John the Baptist pointing to? Or, who is John pointing to? He's pointing to Christ in the Eucharist, celebrated at each and every Mass. Here on the altar is where we hear the priest say the words of John the Baptist, Behold the Lamb of God. As we prepare to celebrate Our Lady of Guadalupe, the patroness of the Diocese of Phoenix, we pray that she will turn our heads to her Son and our Savior, Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. San Juan Diego, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Our Lady of Guadalupe, lead us to your Son, Jesus.